Here's problem 814. A skier weighing 0.7 kilonewtons goes over a frictionless circular hill as shown. If the skier's speed at point A is 9.2 meters per second, what is the speed at the top of the hill, point B? All right, so we're going to have a skier at point A and the velocity at A is 9.2 meters per second. The skier is going to make it to point B and we want to find what is the skier's velocity at that point. One of the other things we want to know is our change in potential energy. So we'll define our lower height as a zero height and hence the height at B is going to be some height H higher than that. Now how can we calculate what H is? Well, we know that the radius of this circle is 10 meters, and that is the radius either to point A or point B. So what we'd like to look at is what the total radius is minus this height right here of this triangle here, this 45 degree triangle. And I know that it's a right triangle, and the hypotenuse of that is 10. So this side of that triangle is going to be 10 cosine 45 degrees. So I know that my height h is going to be equal to the full radius of 10 minus the distance of this side, which is 10 cosine 45 degrees. So h is going to be equal to 10 minus 7.07 .07, which will be 2.93 meters. So point B is 2.93 meters higher than point A. I think now we're ready to employ the one equation to rule them all. Kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A plus any work done along the way equals kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. Now in this case, we don't have any work done along the way. It's a frictionless hill, and there's no other external force other than gravity, and we've already accounted for gravity by, by potential energy. So we don't have work done along the way to worry about. We do have um, movement at A. We're moving at 9.2 meters per second. So there is kinetic energy at A. So we have one-half mass velocity at A squared. Our potential energy at A has been defined to be zero because we have a zero height at point A. So we have zero for our potential energy at A. No work done along the way. We are going to have kinetic energy at B, one-half mass velocity at B squared. And we do have potential energy at B. Let's just call that MGH, where H has been defined to be 2.93 meters. Okay. This is what we're left with, and in the terms that we're left with, we can divide through by the mass, because it's in each term. So we can cancel the mass out. And now we have that one-half the velocity at B squared is equal to one-half the velocity at A squared minus G times H. Let's multiply both sides by 2 and take the square root. So we have the velocity at B is going to equal the velocity at a squared minus 2 times g times h square root. That's going to be equal to 9.2 squared minus 2 times 9.8 times the height 2.93 meters. All this square root. So I got 9.2 squared was 84.64 minus 2 times 9.8 times 2.93 gives me a total of 27.2 square root 5.22 meters per second. So that is the velocity at point B, 5.22 meters per second. We got it by our one equation to rule them all and just evaluating the terms between A and B the key in this problem was trying to figure out what this H was. And once we got that, it pretty much fell into place from the one equation to rule them all.